My name is Ronald Liu. I'm co-author of Stratifying Risk of Urinary Tract Malignant Tumors in Patients with Asymptomatic Microscopic Hematuria. I'm also the Regional Chief of Urology for the Southern California Permanente Medical Group. We do research in Pasadena, California, and my home base is the Kaiser Permanente Medical Center in Downey, California. Hematuria, or, or blood in the urine, is a very common finding occurring in more than 10% of the population, and it's often considered an indicator of possible urinary tract malignancy, namely bladder or renal cancer. And the current uh, recommended workup includes an imaging test, usually a multiphasic abdominal and pelvic CT scan as well as cystoscopy. Now the yield in identifying malignancy is low and unfortunately these workups are not without risk, particularly from the excessive radiation exposure from the imaging tests. So we decided to prospectively collect data on our outcomes and see if there was a better way of properly identifying which patients we should be working up and which patients might possibly safely avoid having this unnecessary risk. 151 of our Kaiser urologists from four different geographic regions volunteered and collected outcomes data on over 4,000 workups on our patients with asymptomatic microscopic hematuria. We asked each urologist to document their findings in a smart list that we conceived in an epic electronic health record. They recorded findings of cystoscopy, imaging findings, final diagnosis. In addition, they asked each one of their patients whether or not they had actually seen any blood in their urine in the past six months. We used other data systems to collect information on demographics, including patients' age, sex, smoking history, and uh, we were also able to uh, uh, assess the degree of hematuria as well as every pathologic um, finding of every renal tumor and bladder cancer we confirmed. Of the variables we looked at, we were able to use logistic regression to figure out what matters most. And we created a predictive model that we call the hematuria index. And it gives us an indication of those at highest and lowest risk for cancer discovery. We hope that this type of approach will improve future guidelines recommendations for patients with asymptomatic microscopic hematuria. Clearly, we want to reach out and find those patients at highest risk for malignancy while at the same time protect those with virtually no risk to avoid unnecessary radiation exposure. Our next steps will include further validation of these findings. We're going to collect this data in perpetuity. In addition, we would like to answer other important questions, including the influence of chronic anticoagulation therapy on this asymptomatic population and whether or not it actually affects outcome. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.